Hey guys, what's going on? PSV here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at the Frosty Winter mod for Euro Truck Simulator 2. On today's mod review, we're going to be looking at the Frosty mod, like I said at the start, and we're going to be doing a little journey. If I pull up the map, we're going to be starting at Berlin, heading all the way down to uh, Magdeburg, or whatever, however you pronounce that. I'm not very good at pronouncing names. It's a little short journey. Um, not much but it will give us enough to have a look at this review and have a look talk about this mod so first of all let's just jump in and get this journey on the way so guys this is kind of a different mod review that I'm doing today it is taking me a little while to try and figure out how I'm going to do it and what's the best way and stuff like that because normally I'm reviewing trucks but today we're doing something a bit different. We're re re a reviewing, if I can get my words out, a actual mod that does uh, changes the way the game looks. So one big thing about this mod that I do want to put point out, so people don't get put off by it, this is not a physic changer. So what do I mean by a physic changer? So as you get by some mods, it changes the physics physics of the game. So then, uh, you know, so on icy roads you slide and stuff like that. And it can cause a bit of bother while trying to play your game. But no, this one is just more for show, more for look. There is no physic changer at all. I cannot stress enough to say that because that is one of the most common problem, uh, common things that people won't install this mod. So we'll see I'm playing this on high settings, on the graphics, um, while doing this journey and making the video. And to be honest, it actually looks really, really nice. So as you can see on the trees, they're looking quite bare. You know, still got a few leaves on them, but they're looking very, very bare. A bit, I don't know, a bit sorry for themselves. But that is it's just because, obviously, this is set in winter. Um, and again, that's obviously what happens in real life. They're trying to compare it. So that's the trees covered. If we look on the grass, you can see that everything's all covered in a fine layer of snow. What is very nice. I need to get over. I still need to sort that mirror out. Um, fine layer of snow what actually makes it look very, very cool. So the way that they've changed the, uh, the game itself, right? Like I say, no physic changes. I cannot stress enough. I know I keep going on about it, but guys, you know my, you know where I'm coming from. Um, I cannot stress enough that this is basically uh, they've changed parts of the game um, instead of physics what I think more mod authors need to do so again I just hit that truck uh, that car, my bad so in the game this is currently, what's the time in game it's currently 10.46 so it's kind of getting on to afternoon so the sun's out it's just beaming down but as you can see on the sun if I come out the sun is quite low you know it's looking quite low it's extending the shadows on the truck very like you can see the shadows are extending just because the sun's lower like it would in real life you know that's very very cool but guys if you set the time to say 7 in the morning 6 6.30 7 a.m. you will see something very very cool I'm going to try and get to that time and put it in the video, but if I don't then I do apologise, I will try and add that bit in, try and get to the, set the time to that, so you can see, because it actually gets a really nice dark foggy look, it actually has fog, so you will need to put your light, so if you go in full beam it sort of blinds you a little bit, you know, it just makes the game more realistic, so that's a very very cool feature that they've added into the game. So what else have we got here? So as you can see the roads again are all covered in snow, fine layer of snow. And it just looks really, really nice to drive. Drive through, you know, it makes the job more fun to actually like I don't know, it's something about it that I just really, really like. I don't know why. It kind of sets me ready for winter in real life without sounding weird. You know, it actually really, really cool. It makes the game a whole new it's basically a game changer. It makes the game a uh, totally different new experience than it would be like if you're just playing with no mods at all playing it vanilla style so it'll be quite cool what would I like to see better in this mod 
There's not much I'd like to see. Maybe uh, I haven't actually seen. I don't think this will be added in because they'll see physics. It would be nice just to see a little bit of snow fall. You know, just see a nice little drop of snow just fall down now and again. But I do not think we're going to see that because I'll see physics and stuff like that. I know that wouldn't really change much of the physics of how the game truck drives and stuff. But I don't know if that's in. I will have been driving quite a while on this mod. Um, like I've taken it for a good run just so then I can try and cover as much as I can in it. Way up. But um, I haven't actually seen any snowfall as of yet. So guys, they're not only a physics, uh, not physics, it's not only just a frosty mod. There is also a um, autumn, early autumn, late autumn mod as well. But I will be reviewing that and taking a drive in that in a separate video. Just so you can get to see a little bit of a taster for it. Just so you, you know, you can get a taste of all the mods. Before I carry on. I'd like to just say a massive thank you to the author, I think his name's Grimes. I will put a link down in the description down in the description so if you do happen to want to get this mod and try it out for yourself you're more than welcome to but all credit goes to Grimes for making all these uh, winter and autumn mods and how amazing and it must have been a lot of work that was put into these mods I'm not going to lie so we're not too far off this job already it's gone quite quick it's surprising when you're recording you talk so much it, it just the time just flies by it's actually really really nice because you know, if time flies by, you know what that means, more videos. <laughs> so we'll just drop down slowly, drop down the gear. I'm not going to really overtake because I've got, we're coming off here, I presume. I'm only guessing that because we're quite close to the job. So just look at these trees. Just look how nice they look. They are really, really nice. So I have played previously, I have played with other snow mods, I've played um, with winter mods, but they have had physics changes in them, and they've also had, uh, I don't know, they haven't had the right feel to it, like, they put all chains on the wheels and stuff, and for some reason it didn't feel right, I don't know why, but this one just feels really, really right, and for me to say that, it must be quite cool, because I've been going through mods after there's, like there's no tomorrow, trying to find a good review for you guys, because I'm not going to lie, if you any authors are listening to this, I do apologise, don't take it offensively. But lately, I'm getting truck mods, and they all seem to be not very good. I must have downloaded at least six or seven different trucks to do a mod review on. And all of them I'm not going to be reviewing because they're just not very well made. Um, I don't want anyone getting offensive by that, just in case you are an author. But... There's just not much customization you can do to it. The truck's a truck. There's no customization. So I can't exactly be like, hey guys, look at this truck. This is a Volvo, whatever. This is a Volvo um, truck. It's got no configurations on it. This is a truck you drive it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, sort of thing. I can't exactly do that. I need something to talk about. I need to show them configurations. I want it to, I want to sell it, you know? I want to sell the. Uh, be able to sell the product or the mod to the person also you're not going to be paying real money for it but you, you get the gist of what i'm on about so i can see our delivery point in the distance in that blue building it's not too far away it's just there so let's hope i do a bit of better parking than i've done the other day in my fit euro truck video if you haven't checked that out head over to the channel and give that a view because it's quite cool S so yeah Um, sorry guys, I'm just reading a text on my phone from family, personal problems. Just had to check that. Because they always seem to text when I'm recording. I get no texts from them. Until I hit record, I seem to get texts from everyone. I'm not even joking. I literally have to put my phone on silent and turn the vibrate off. Right, so here we are at our delivery point. Very cool. Let's get rid of that. I want that on our screen. So what I'm going to try and do is just if I can straighten this up and hopefully I can just back it straight in. Yeah. 
something like that. Maybe not as wonky, but hey ho, as long as it goes into the allocated area, should be all cool. Put the handbrake on, put that there, drop the trailer off. Thank you, thank you. So guys, whoa, that went a bit glitchy, didn't it? So guys, thanks so much for watching this mod review. I am going to give this mod a 10 out of 10 just because of how cool it is. I actually love it. I cannot see myself turning it off for quite a while. Unless also I'm trying out the other mods. Before I forget, a main, main fact that um, I need to add to you guys. And I cannot stress enough. This on your mod priority, if you haven't seen what I mean by mod priority, go on my channel. There's a mod manager video check that one out this priority in your mod manager needs to be right at the top if not near enough at the top because this is the biggest one and it needs to be there because otherwise you're going to have problems so i cannot stress enough put this at the top of your priority and you cannot go wrong so guys thanks so much for watching this video please ensure to give it a thumbs up if we can hit 10 likes again i'll be absolutely amazing and if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the content if not stick around watch my further videos Without further ado, happy trucking, have a good day.